Will Bitcoin's market cap pass golds? Next on your 4-Minute Crypto Daily News. Welcome to 4-Minute Crypto. Now, today's show is from a post by Nick Chong at NewsBTC and brought to you by Crypto Links. Take a look at this great resource for all things crypto on their easy-to-explore website at CryptoLinks.com. Now, crypto's biggest crusaders have sought to keep their heads up in this drastic, bone-crushing bear market that we're having. A number of Bitcoin natives have begun to, re begun to revisit the asset's underlying value proposition. Now, in their eyes, Bitcoin isn't digital cash. Instead, Bitcoin has quickly taken up the mantle of becoming digital gold. Now, Max Kaiser, an anti-establishment figure and popular industry commentator, put it best when he claimed that Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer electronic gold system. Now, while Satoshi Nakamoto never mentioned the words digital and gold in a single sentence, Bitcoin has been seen as a replacement for the precious metal. Now, Willy Wu, the Australian cryptocurrency researcher known for his in-depth technical analysis of cryptocurrencies, explained why he expects for Bitcoin's market cap to easily surpass that of gold. Citing a space-related article outlining the off-Earth mining industry, noted that the mathematical scarcity which Bitcoin enlists beats perceived scarcity. Now, referencing the article, which claimed that trillions, even quadrillions of dollars worth of gold and other precious metals could exist in near-Earth asteroids. Wu noted that perceived scarcity comes only from the technological limitations of today. In other words, gold's place as the de facto store of value may be overtaken over time, especially as humanity's relentless demand for gold continues and as on Earth supplies wane, creating a gold rush in outer space. Now, Monsieur Mohammed, I know I pronounced that wrong, a student of Austrian economics, noted that if every millionaire in the United States wanted to obtain one Bitcoin, well, they wouldn't be able to. They just couldn't do it. The cryptocurrency enthusiast added that there will always be fewer Bitcoins than millionaires in the world because Bitcoin's hard cap of 21 million coins. A research paper from Chinalysis revealed that up to 3,790,000 Bitcoin could actually be lost forever. Now that's a jaw-dropping sum as that amount of crypto clocks in at a value of $13.25 billion and the figure is only expected to grow. Moreover, it is presumed that the Winklevoss twins, Tim Draper, along with hundreds of other so-called crypto OGs, have millions of Bitcoins under lock and key and have no intention to liquidate their holdings in the near future. Now, venture capitalist heavyweight Tim Draper alone owns over 29,000 Bitcoin, while his entrepreneur son has likely matched his father's holdings. Semantics and exact specifics aside, Monsieur's point was, there's just not enough Bitcoin to go around, and that if demand for the asset surges, supply won't be able to keep up. But what will Bitcoin's classification as the second coming of gold do for its value? In the eyes of the Crypto Oracle founding partner, Lou Kerner, the answer is very simple. He noted that as consumers continue to come to the realization that gold underperforms Bitcoin, the asset could easily surpass $100,000 per Bitcoin. Kerner added that he sees the United States dollar as a Ponzi scheme, which could be a catalyst for money to flow into Bitcoin in the future. Now, the Winklevoss twins, who founded the Gemini Trust, believe Kerner's thought process. The two industry insiders explain that Bitcoin is simply a better version of gold, adding that the only thing the precious metal gold has on the crypto is a 3,000-year head start. So is Bitcoin better than gold? Let me know your thoughts on Twitter, where I am at Gary Leland. And don't forget to subscribe to the 4-Minute Crypto Show for a new episode every weekday. This is a CryptoCousins.com production.